morning everyone <clears throat> well today gonna kind of be more of the same just fishing some vertical stuff uh, some trees a little bit of everything really scan for some brush maybe we can find some haven't fished over here before so really don't know but we're gonna give it a shot the sun's just now peeking out it's about to get hot 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 but sun will help this bite over here so let's see i want to talk about too um so right now you know there's a mayfly hatch going on there's around some of the trees i fished um, last week you could see tons of little bitty fry shad fry so i want to kind of show you that you know downsizing this time of year is super important um, you want to match those those size shad that are about like this they're real small and i have some jigs that match those perfectly so we're going to use that um, and see if we can catch some fish um, last time I was out, fish were a little finicky, but I didn't try this, so I'm going to do that, see if that makes a difference, and show you what I use to, to get those fish to bite. So, let's go. Not sure if that shows up, but that's a mayfly, and that's what a lot of these crappie eat this time of year. That right there. Before we get started, I want to kind of go over a couple of uh, jigs that are good for this. A little bitty mic for this right here. Little um, panfish assassin, baby shad. Alright, so I don't know if this one's got any brush on it. I didn't scan it or nothing, but we're just going to drop on it. I don't think these fish would be any shallower than about 10 to 15, so... There are the fish. Feel like a better fish. It's not a crappie. A drum or something. Sure enough. Or a sandy. That's oh, a sandy. Knew right away. It's a fat sandy. pop on that one. That's a crappie. Not a big one, but he might keep. He might keep. I uh I think he's short. I really prefer these like 10 inch fish. Um, compared to those, those bigger fish, I like these to eat a lot better personally. Yep, he's good. Perfect. Perfect eater. Okay. There's one. On that little bitty jig, might be a better fish too. About the same size as the last one. On that little bitty jig. I think he's short. You know what? I thought that last one was short too, though. Let me check him. Oh, yeah, he's short, though. Bye. Another one tried to take the rod out of the hand. Little fish, but he got it though. I think that fish didn't want that little jig.
fish right there, y'all. Slab. Yeah, that's a good crappie. Oh yeah, another big black crappie. Look at that one. Hope that didn't get y'all. Another big black crappie. It's really unusual to catch catch them on these poles like this. You will every now and then, but beautiful black crappie. There's one. Saw the line go slack. Might be a decent one. Oh yeah, another nice black crappie. Look at that. Huh. I'm very, very surprised there's this many black crappie on these. Very surprised. On that little, little bitty jig. That's a good fish. Just sat on it too. That's a crappie, y'all. That is a monster. Might not be a crappie. Oh yeah. Black crappie. These things fight so, so good. That's what it is. Look at that one. Poor guy. He, uh, he had a rough life. I'm so surprised there's this many black crappie on this kind of thing really really surprised y'all just so unusual super unusual it definitely seems like there's a depth range that they prefer on these it seems like 20 25 foot anything much deeper than that or much shallower isn't as good that's what it's what it seems like so far A little smaller fish, but maybe. <laughs> got mean when he got up here. Well, he might keep. White crappie. Fish felt tiny coming up and then he figured out he was hooked. <laughs> I think that fish will go. Like I said, I like prefer those 10 inch fish anyway. Yep, he sure will go. If he don't get out. <laughs> Another one, another decent one. Oh yeah, another black crappie. Isn't that crazy? Look, you think you wanted that little jig? This jig works real good, little bitty jig. Another black crappie. Might be a better fish. A little bigger, but not a keeper. Mm, that's a good fish. Soaking wet on that one. Another black crappie. Wow. Another 
another black crappie. It's a keeper too. All right, y'all. I think that's gonna do it today. It's just windy as all get out. It's just not really conducive for, for fishing right now. It's just windy and super limited where I'm at. I'm just tired too, don't feel like going nowhere else, so we're just gonna call it. I hope y'all enjoy, I hope y'all, um, you know, this, you can see those little bitty jigs work really good. Um, there just weren't many fish on this. With it being cloudy like this, it's just not, not the best, you know, time to, to fish for them on those, but that was what I had to do, so that's what I fished and caught a few, caught enough to clean, so that'll be good. But hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget those little um, those little jigs, like I showed you, work really well. The shad spawn and um, mayfly hatch and all that. So again, y'all, thanks for the support. Y'all be sure to uh, you know like, comment, like if you enjoyed, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I post a video. And don't forget, we go live every Monday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, talking about crappie. So hope to see y'all there. Y'all take it easy.